Hello friends this is menteachingmen.com. In this video, we will be reviewing a summary of the Bible book of the Judges of Israel. The New American Standard and King James Version Bibles will mainly be used for our scripture translation in this video. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel. Judges Why are we studying this book of the Bible? The book of Judges was authored by Samuel. Old Testament, Judge, Prophet, Priest. This book covers approximately a 220-year period. The book of Judges describes the religious and historical period of Israel between the death of the promised land conquer. Joshua, and the selection of the first king of Israel, Saul. If you are interested in people and military history, the book of Judges is for you. The book of Judges subject matter would be a fantastic bestseller today. The Book of Judges Headlines Family feud leaves 70 brothers dead. Powerful government leader caught in love nest. Gang rape. Murder and bloodshed. Homemaker leads nation's army to victory against oppressor. Judges chapter 17 verse 6. The theme of this book of the Bible. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. Aren't we thankful that we have the Holy Spirit and God's Word, the Bible, to give us direction in our lives? With Joshua's death in 1245 BC, Joshua did not complete his assignment of driving out all the heathen people from the promised land Israel, and securing an inheritance for all the tribes of Israel. Joshua Let's first start with the Israel leader Joshua. Joshua brought the children of Israel into the promised land, and defeated numerous peoples that were Israel's enemies. Joshua chapter 13 verse 1. Now Joshua was old and advanced in years when the Lord said to him, You are old and advanced in years, and very much of the land remains to be possessed. Several of the Jewish tribes did not obtain all their inheritance or they did not drive out all the heathen people. Joshua also did not groom a new leader to take his place after his death, as other Bible leaders had done. Moses mentored Joshua. Eli mentored Samuel. Elijah mentored Elisha. The Apostle Paul mentored Timothy.
Judges chapter 1 verse 33. The tribe of Naphtali did not drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, or the inhabitants of Beth Anath, but lived among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Judges chapter 2 verse 2. The angel of the Lord speaking to Israel. You shall make no covenant with the inhabitants of this land. You shall tear down their altars. But you have not obeyed me. What is this you have done? Judges chapter 2 verse 3. Therefore I also said, I will not drive them out before you, but they will become as thorns in your sides and their gods will be a snare to you. Now the tribes of Israel have a problem, don't they? Thorns in your side is not going to be pleasant. Israel will move from not driving the inhabitants out of the land, to worshipping their gods. Judges chapter 2 verses 11 to 12. Then the sons of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baal, and they forsook the Lord, the God of their fathers, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods from among the gods of the peoples who were around them. Judges chapter 2 verse 14. God's response to the worship of other gods. The anger of the Lord burned against Israel and he gave them into the hands of plunderers who plundered them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies around them, so that they could no longer stand before their enemies. Are we guilty of worshipping other gods? The gods of television, political correctness, gods of pornography, gods of money, pleasure. What will be God's response to this? Judges chapter 2 verse 16. Our God is merciful and compassionate. Then the Lord raised up judges who delivered them from the hands of those who plundered them. Judges chapter 2 verse 18. When the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge and delivered them from the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. Judges chapter 2 verse 19. But it came about when the judge died, that they would turn back and act more corruptly than their fathers, in following other gods to serve them and bow down to them. Cycle of Rebellion. Number 1. Israel rebels against God. Number 2. God allows an oppressor to attack Israel. Number 3. Israel repents, puts away foreign gods. Number 4. God send a deliverer, judge to provide relief to Israel. Who were the judges of Israel? These men or women were possibly military, religious, or judicial leaders of Israel, or various parts of the nation. There were 12 to 15 judges. It would be wonderful to say that they all were obedient and had a great love for God and his people, but that was not always the case. First Judge of Israel Othniel, Judges chapter 3 verse 9. Othniel the son of Canaz, Caleb's younger brother, delivered Israel from Mesopotamia only judge from the tribe of Judah. Second Judge of Israel Ehud, Judges chapter 3 verse 15, delivered Israel from Moab, a Benjamite, a left-handed man, killed the king of Moab with a sword hidden on his right leg.
third judge of Israel. Shamgar, Judges chapter 3 verse 31. Delivered Israel from the Philistines. Struck down 600 Philistines with an ox goad. Ox goad is a 8 feet long wooden stick with a pointed end. Used to guide oxen. Fourth Judge of Israel. Deborah a prophetess. Judges chapter 4 verse 4. Delivered Israel from the Canaanites. A mother of Israel, lover of God. Writes the song of Deborah. Judges chapter 5. Judges chapter 5 verse 31. Song of Deborah. Thus let all your enemies perish, O Lord. But let those who love him be like the rising of the sun in its might. Fifth Judge of Israel. Gideon, Judges chapter 6 verse 11. Delivered Israel from Midian. God gives Gideon great victory. Judge from the tribe of Manasseh. Makes an idol and leads Israel in idolatry. Judges chapter 8 verse 27. Gideon's idol. And all Israel played the harlot with it there, so that it became a snare to Gideon and his household. Judges chapter 9 verse 5. Then, Gideon's son Abimelech. He went to his father's house at Ophrah and killed his brothers the sons of Jerubbabel, Gideon, seventy men, on one stone. Sixth Judge of Israel. Abimelech, Judges chapter 9. Abimelech judged, ruled, Israel three years. Kills the seventy sons, his brothers, of Gideon. Wild, crazy, insane warrior. Killed in battle. Seventh Judge of Israel. Tola, Judges chapter 10 verse 1. A man of the tribe of Issachar. Judged Israel 23 years. Eighth Judge of Israel. Jer the Gileadite. Judges chapter 10 verse 3. Judged Israel 22 years. He had 30 sons who rode on 30 donkeys. Jer name means, he shines. He's enlightened. Ninth Judge of Israel. Jephthah the Gileadite. Judges chapter 11 verse 1. Valiant warrior but the son of a harlot. Driven out of the household by the other sons. Makes rash vow which costs the life of his daughter. Judges chapter 11 verse 32. Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. So Jephthah crossed over to the sons of Ammon to fight against them, and the Lord gave them into his hand. Judges chapter 12. Unnecessary battle. The tribe of Ephraim picks a fight with Jephthah because of their pride and 42,000 Ephraimites died. Jephthah judged Israel for six years. Tenth Judge of Israel. Ibzan, Judges chapter 12 verse 8. Ibzan had 30 sons and 30 daughters whom he gave in marriage. The large family and the special reference to these marriages may indicate his wealth and social status. Ibzan judged Israel seven years. Eleventh Judge of Israel. Elon, Judges chapter 12 verse 11. 
judged Israel ten years. Twelfth judge of Israel. Abdon, Judges chapter 12 verse 13. Judged Israel eight years. Thirteenth judge of Israel. Samson, Judges chapter 13 verse 24. A Nazarite. Delivered Israel from Midian. Sexual immorality ended his life. Judges chapters 17 to 18. Micah and his graven image and idol. Micah's mother makes a graven image and molten idol. Micah puts these in a shrine and obtains a Levite, tribe of Levi, to act as priest for him. Men of the tribe of Dan happen along and take the image and idol, along with the priest, with them. The tribe of Dan set this idol up for themselves in their new land. The tribe of Dan is taken into captivity by the Assyrians in 721 BC. Judges chapters 19 to 21. In these chapters, a group of men in a town in the tribe of Benjamin gang rape and kill a traveler's wife. The victim's husband reports this to the other 11 tribes of Israel and the other tribes demand that the men involved be punished. The tribe of Benjamin refuses and the 11 tribes battle the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin is defeated and loses approximately 25,000 warriors. How sad a story. Judges chapter 21 verse 25. The last verse in the book of Judges. In those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. The last two judges of Israel are from the Bible book of Samuel. Eli and Samuel. Fourteenth judge of Israel. Eli. 1 Samuel 1.9. High priest at the Shiloh Tabernacle. Godly priest, but allowed his relationship with his sons to take precedent over his relationship with God. Fifteenth Judge of Israel, Samuel, 1 Samuel 1.20. Godly parents, wonderful man of God. Two entire books of the Bible are named for him. First and Second Samuel. Judges in summary. Judges filled a leadership void in Israel's history. Many faithful men and women. Several scoundrels. God arises to help his people, even after they failed him. The book looks toward the future in the hope of an obedient judge, priest. Thanks so much for watching. This video is dedicated to the honor of Roger and Yvonne Seltzer, Halifax, PA. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, 
please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again, you're a Christian. Welcome, welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family, you're back in the fold. Welcome, congratulations. There's another teaching on the Men Teaching Men.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved, and that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you, God bless you, amen.